are you considering moving to Denmark or maybe you are just curious about one of the top happiest countries in the world if yes then this video is for you hi everybody welcome and welcome back to my channel this is kriti i have been living in denmark for more than 4 years and in this week's video i am sharing with you the pros and cons of living in denmark if you are new to my channel do check out my previous videos about life in denmark and also subscribe to my channel now let's get started the number one pro is the work life balance if you really want to have work life balance in your life then denmark is the country for you and in denmark this work life balance is across all the job sector here your manager will tell you to go home if you have been working really late and in case of overtime you'll always be compensated and what i really like about living here is that here you don't need to wait for the weekends to give time to your hobbies do extra activities or meet your friends there is a whole culture of evening activities in denmark i am part of toastmasters and we have weekly meeting on a weekday from 6 pm to 8 pm and everyone with a job can attend the meeting without any problem you will also see that expats go for evening danish classes which are already starting from 4:30 pm and during summer time you will also see people leaving their offices quite early to enjoy the sunshine my second pro is that everyone speaks english in denmark so if you are moving to denmark for a short period of time you really don't need to learn the language the danes are very nice to switch to english if they know that you don't speak the language it's a big life saver say for example you are going to the danish supermarket and you don't understand something you can easily talk to the staff in english now the third pro is accessibility both in terms of going around the country and also going outside the country one of the pros of living in denmark is its central location especially if you are in copenhagen you can easily plan to visit other european countries getting around in denmark becomes very easy with your bike i will say you will actually be shocked to see the bike culture here in denmark now denmark is flat and this country is made for biking with separate bike lanes traffic signal and you can also take your bike in the trains and in metro denmark also has very well organized public transportation system but biking around the city will make it cheaper for you i find it difficult to bike during peak winter time like now i'm really not biking but trust me the danes are always biking in denmark now the fourth pro is the public health care system in denmark which is also very well organized now here you don't need to pay anything at the time of the service because health coverage is part of your taxes after you get your cpr number and the pink card you will also receive the yellow card which gives you access to everything in the public sector from hospitals to libraries and all the information about your doctor visit is also stored digitally for you to access easily all you need to do is take your yellow card go to your doctor swipe in the card and there is no other hassle of filling up the forms or taking care of the bills now the last thing in the pro i want to talk today is about the trust factor in denmark Now once you move to Denmark you will quickly become familiar with the social trust. In Denmark you not only trust your friends and family but you also trust people around you. You trust your government and you see the result. Now one of the best examples of trust factor that I can give you is farms they sell their products in a road side stalls with no one guarding the stall. there is a mobile pay number or a jar to collect the payment now as the saying goes perfection is a myth let's talk about the cons of living in denmark 
my first con is about making friends in denmark before i talk about the weather in denmark because if you move to denmark during summer time you will not instantly hate the weather now making friends in denmark especially in the beginning will seem very hard you have to also understand that it is very hard to break into the danish friend circle it's not like you are here and within few months you have danish friends danes are also very reserved people but once you are friends with them it's for lifetime and remember drinking beer is part of becoming friends with anybody in denmark So my advice would be to start making friends with internationals first and then go to Danish people it would be much easier Now my second con is everyone's talk complain the weather in Denmark Now once you are here you cannot go out of your house without checking the weather app and even after that you are never sure what to expect You can experience all the four seasons in one day. Like last week I was out, the sun was shining, I was so happy. I went out and within 5 minutes the clouds appeared. It became gloomy, dark, super cold and I had to come back home. Winter depression is a real thing in Denmark. I have felt it. The shorter days during winter will make it super hard. So get ready for winter in Denmark. I have made a video about how to get ready for the winter in Denmark. I will put the link in the description. Do check that out. Now the last con about living in Denmark has two parts which expats find it quite difficult. The number one is about finding a job. So say for example you are moving to Denmark as a spouse your partner has got a job here and now you would also want to have a job it will become quite difficult to start looking for a job in Denmark and to navigate into the Danish job market i have few videos about how to find a job and what can help you find a job in Denmark on my channel i will put the link in the description do check them out and the second part is about housing market it becomes quite difficult to find the right house for you and especially if you're living in the cities it becomes quite expensive people have also experienced quite a lot of scams when it comes to finding a house in denmark i will try to cover this particular topic in more detail in the future so thank you so much for watching this week's video about pros and cons of living in denmark i hope you liked the video Do subscribe to my channel it means a lot I will see you next Friday till then enjoy bye bye